What's up guys, I'm back with an episode today on how to teach you to spot fake amber so you can protect yourself when you're shopping. We're starting off with an image of fake ass amber. This is the first thing that pops up in Google when you search for uh, insect and amber, and it's fake as hell. How do we know? That insect is very large, very clear, perfectly poised in the middle of the piece, which all is very rare. That would be worth like a million dollars, and it's only like 20 bucks. Same with these guys, perfectly poised, very large, middle of the piece, and they're like 10 bucks each. That's, that would be worth like 20,000 a pop if it were real and of that quality. So you wanna watch out for pieces that are too perfect. These are another great example. What they did right about this is the color of the plastic is perfectly amber color. So that's why the amber looks good, but the insects, forget about it. If it's that perfect and it's 20 bucks, forget about it. Now this, is a real piece of amber. So check out how there's a lot of like imperfections around the piece. Uh, there's, there's different colors. You see an insect here. You see an insect here. None of them are perfect, but they're all very pretty. There's an insect here. There's all these different colors and flow lines and stuff like that. That is what you want. You want it to be imperfect. You want it to be nature made. Okay, we're gonna go on to another piece. Uh, this piece is the same example. It actually has an, a spider on top and an insect on the bottom. Spider right there, fly right there, and you can see that they're kind of like, they're kind of imperfect. There's a bunch of debris scattered around this area. There's a few bubbles in here. That's what we want. You want it to be imperfect, that's how you know it's real. If it's too perfect, it's not real. This one is real, and it's actually for, it's actually for sale on my site. This one has amazing clarity, so that's really, really good. But you can see the insects are all jumbled up on top of each other. If you look under a microscope, they're like all crisscrossed and stuff. This is a really, really good one. That's an example of a great one. This is an example of a leaf in amber. As you can see, it's like pretty well poised, so it's a good piece, but it's not perfect. It's not a whole leaf. And if you need to look under the microscope to see like the details, plus there's a bunch of bubbles and stuff. And finishing off, we have the creme de la creme of amber inclusions. This one is so perfect. It could be fake, but it's not. It's basically the best piece of amber I ever found. And uh, I did another video on this one. If you like this content, smosh, smosh that follow button for more.